Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very good morning. So today, uh, today's lesson is about uh, chapter two, respiration two point one. So. Okay, so guys, so for those uh, just enter, so thank you uh, for your time. So today's uh, lesson is about chapter two, respiration, and for chapter one, so we do uh, Google Meet. So today we will try using uh, uh, YouTube Live. So for so if uh, have any problem regarding uh, sound. Uh, doesn't have sound or cannot see the uh, slide so please inform me through uh, comment or you can pm me through um, google classroom or uh, whatsapp so without uh, wasting any time so we will start oh before that uh, i will i prepare to you a uh, question uh, for those who have uh, GC, so you can answer your question, simple question, uh, only takes uh, maybe five minutes to answer that question. And then uh, for those who are doesn't have uh, GC, so you can answer uh, on the description below. Okay, uh, for those uh, not sus subscribed yet, so please subscribe uh, to get more updates on uh, this uh, channel so let's see chapter 2 respiration focus on 2.1 okay we will start with 2.1 okay so about respiration everyone of us uh, need to respirate so we didn't realize that respiration uh, is going uh, 24 24 hours a day okay so uh, we will start with the uh, 2.1 human respiratory system for human respiratory system uh, we have a breathing mechanism uh, inhale and exhale but before that we see the the structure of the breathing organs including the nostril nasal cavity pharynx, larynx the breathing tract known as trachea uh, uh, we have bronchus and bronchioles, alveolus and lungs. So each uh, alveolus has a very thin wall which is one cell thick, moist and contain a large network of blood capillaries. So this is a structure of the human respiratory system. We start with a uh, nostril here. Uh, our yeah. okay. 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 So this is a nasal cavity. So we learn about the structure uh, for those uh, nasal cavity here. And followed by the uh, firing here and larynx here and then we go through the trachea over here bronchus bronchi uh, connected to the bronchial inside uh, our lungs and the smallest part in our uh, human respiratory system is called RBLS. So this, um, okay, so human lungs are inside here, so bronchus here, so bronchial is a branch, a smaller branch here, and also alveolus is smaller parts. 
So this is a uh, zoom in of the LVLS. So LVLS here. So we have a very small, uh, like a uh, small branch covered with the blood capillaries. So the red one is a, uh, what we call art, uh, blood capillaries, uh, contains of uh, oxygenated uh, blood. And the blue one is a uh, carry oxy, uh, deoxygenated blood. Okay, so this uh, structure of alveolus is very thin. It's a size of uh, one cell thickness. So is uh, we will talk about uh, the the transfer between gas uh, later. So we move on to the structure first. So we see the first uh, structure, we have the diaphragma, okay? So the function of the diaphragma is to change the air pressure in the uh, thoracic uh, cavity by increasing or dis uh, decreasing the thoracic volume. So we have uh, ribs, the second structure, so to protect the lungs. Uh, so also known as a rib cage. Right? So we we have a uh, rib uh, to protect the lungs and other uh, organ that consists inside the rib cage. So alveolus is a structure, the place where the exchange of gases occurs. Okay, intercostal muscle. Okay, intercostal muscle uh, play a very uh, important role to change the the position. Uh, we we can change, uh, we can raise and lower the rib cage during breathing. So the blood capillary is, is very oxygenated blood from the alveoli and deoxygenated blood to the alveoli. So this is the pathway of the air in the breathing mechanism, starting with the nostril that I mentioned earlier. So nostril followed by nasal cavity uh, and then go to pyrene. And then larynx, trachea, bronchus, bronchiole, alveolus, and lastly is blood capillaries. So this is uh, the flow that I mentioned earlier. So you need to uh, remember the flow to make sure you know the the, the correct uh, the correct flow, uh, the pathway of air breathing in breathing mechanism. Okay. So I mentioned earlier about the uh, the, the two things that uh, we have uh, in uh, our respir uh, respiratory system is the breathing mechanism. One is uh, inhale, in inhale, and the second one is exhale. So for inhale inhalation, so this is a mechanism for inhalation. Okay. Number one is uh, air is forced to into the lung. Inhale, we inhale the, the air. So what is what happened during this uh, uh, inhalation process is diaphragma contract and flatten. Okay, the air external intercostal muscle. We have internal and external. So external intercostal muscle contract and internal muscle and intercostal muscle will relax. So the rib cage will uh, raise upward and outward. Okay, we inhale. So the rib, our rib, going out, up and uh, out. Okay. So the thor uh, thoracic volume will increase. The air pressure inside the lung will decrease. So that will, uh, that is uh, the process that happened during inhalation. So you see the, the second one, Ex exhale, exhalation. So the air is forced out, forced out of the lung. So we exhale. During that time, so the diaphragma contract and curve upwards. So the thoracic uh, thoracic volume decrease, and the air pressure inside the lung will increase. So during this uh, process also, the external intercostal muscle will relax and internal intercostal muscle will contract. So the ribcage will move downward and inward. Okay. So the difference is 
you see the uh, difference between the mechanism inhalation and exhalation. So for inhalation, so we have contraction for internal external intercostal muscle, while exhalation will have uh, relaxed situation. Uh, different situation with internal intercostal muscle during this uh, inhalation. Inhale, so the internal intercostal muscle will relax while when exhale so the inter, uh, internal cost internal intercostal muscle will contract so the movement of rib cage uh, you must remember uh, upward and outward is during inhale while uh, downward and inward is uh, movement of rib cage during exhale Okay, so the fragma muscle will contract during inhale while uh, the fragma muscle will relax during uh, exhale. So the shape of the fragma flatten during inhale and the curve, uh, curve upward during exhale. Okay, so uh, thoracic muscle, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Thoric volume during inhale is increased while uh, exhalation increases. So sorry about the, the 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 voice around here. So it's quite. So the air pressure inside the thoracic uh, thorax uh, is low during inhale while during exhale is higher. So the air movement. Inhale, the air from atmosphere will force into the lung, while exhale, the air inside the lung will force out into the atmosphere. So that is a difference. Okay, for now, do you understand? I hope you understand because uh, if you uh, have a little problem or you didn't understand yet, so you can refer your uh, GC and go to the google site that i prepare so you can see the the notes that i prepared there uh, and also uh, maybe during your answering the question so you know you understand okay so this is a, a exhalation and inhalation so the picture so you can see the the diaphragma Okay, so going upward during exhalation and being flattened during inhalation. Okay, so we uh, actually, uh, we have a model of lungs. So you can create this uh, model of lung uh, at your home. So using the, uh, the, the material that you have uh, for uh, during uh, maybe in school or in lab so we have a glass tube y shaped glass tube glass tube so maybe at your home doesn't have so maybe uh, you can use this uh, straw here so only one so you can use uh, one straw uh, doesn't have a y shape so it's okay but uh, still have the mechanism that uh, represent the uh, the bron not bronchus nah. so we say that this is a uh, airway uh, trap okay and the balloon represents the lungs and any space be inside the the bottle or glass jar so represent the thoracic cavity so the glass jar or the bottle so represent the um represent the uh, the weak cage and the rubber sheet at the bottom or maybe uh, last year i used a i asked the student my student to use uh, only plastic uh, plastic also can okay so represent the diaphragm okay so this uh, handle the inhalation and exhalation so you can see here uh, this is an example that we can see uh, is a uh, exhalation and inhalation. So during inhalation, so we pull the uh, 
the pool, the rubber, and the, uh, what we call uh, the layer of the represent the diaphragma. Okay, so we pull, so the air will force to go into the balloon, uh, represent the lungs. And during exhalation, so we uh, the rubber sheet will push up. We push up the rubber sheet and the volume of bell jar will decrease and the balloon will contract and the, the air will force up from the balloon through the glass tube. Okay. Okay. I think, yeah, for 2.1, that's all for that's all for 2.1. So if you have any problem or if you have any question, you can ask in the comment below. Okay, and also for 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 the student, okay, for my student in SMT Kumbaru. So you can uh, log into your DC and answer the question. And also, you have any problem or any question, you can ask me from the uh, WhatsApp group. Okay. So thank you very much for your time, and we will see you again in uh, our next uh, class. Uh, I will inform you uh, which medium we will use. And thank you very much, and see you again. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.